City Farmer TV, City Farmer News. I'm with head gardener Sharon Slack. And Sharon's going to show us the basic basics of making compost in a home bin. How do we do it? This bin is available to Vancouver residents for $25 and it works just as well as any other bin. We can add trimmings from the garden if we cut them up a little bit. Uh, this is part of our green stuff. We have lots of kitchen stuff here we can put in. There's banana peels, there's uh, orange peels, uh, apple cores, tea bags. So this stuff is all good for the compost bin. And um, okay, that goes in there. So those are carbon. Uh, those are nitrogen sources, the garden waste yeah. and the kitchen scraps. But and just a little bit more of this green stuff from the chopped in here. Those Whoops. are greens you've just uh, culled from the garden today. Yeah. And these uh, are always better chopped up a bit. And then we always have to add some brown component, which are the leaves. Now we always say this is the most important and you need to collect leaves for 12 months of the uh, enough in the fall for 12 months usage. Because yeah. it doesn't matter if it's winter or spring or summer you need to add a layer of leaves and we have lots yeah. and uh, What's we don't this? have to yeah. stir we don't have to stir these things but this is a wing digger when you push it down the little wings fold up and when you pull it up they open this doesn't necessarily turn the contents but it gets oxygen down into the bottom of the pile which is quite essential for this process so you just push it down pull it up and do this about Oh, half a dozen times around your bin every week or two weeks and this will get enough oxygen into the bottom of your pile so that the composting process, process can continue properly. And so we, we call this cold composting really yes. not hot composting it might take six seven eight months just to leave it. Yeah or, or less. Or less. Yeah and uh, when you're finished you'll have compost which you can take out of the bottom of your bin um, there's some nice compost coming ready. Yeah, so these bins all have a little door at the bottom that you can take compost out of. If you only have one bin, this is how you would do it. You put your compostables in the top, and then you take the finished compost out of the bottom, so it's a continuous process. And you can get two and three bins at the Vancouver Transfer Station if you That's live right. in our city. Yeah. And uh, we always, uh, you know, warn people about pests and uh, if they do happen to get a rodent, what do you do at home? I always use a rat trap. Let's see. <laughs> so you just have to be careful that you don't put your fingers in this. This is just a very basic, inexpensive rat trap. You put your bait in here and you pull it back and set the trap. Put the trap in your bin and put the lid back on so that you're not going to catch somebody's cat. <laughs> and uh, then when the deed is done, check around the perimeter of your bin so you can see where the hole is, where they were getting in. Block that up with some wire and you can continue to use your bin. And so this bin uh, can work continuously for years. Yes. And uh, it's, it's act we've taught thousands of people and it's a very, very simple method um, if you know the basics. Yeah, and it's good stuff for your garden. It closes the loop, your food. Waste comes from your kitchen into your bin through the bin, into your garden, you grow your veggies back into the kitchen so it's a continuous loop. Thank you very much, Sharon.